Hi everybody, this is Pramita here and I'm going to do a journal uh, share sort of thing, the kinds of journals that um, I'm going to restock in my Etsy shop. I have been working on these journals uh, during these holidays and once I open in January, uh, you'll have a, I mean, a wide range of uh, stuff to choose from. I'm still working on six more journals and there will be an update on that soon. Right now I'm going to show you uh, four, four journals that I have completed and um, three of them have been made with uh, Italian straw bags from Roxy Creations. Uh, these are uh, the basis of the journal uh, of one of those and the other two come in um, you know in a in a pouch sort of thing um Rachel had done a similar thing on Christmas theme and I was very inspired by her method uh, but of course I have given it uh, you know kind of uh, how I like to do things so it's my style but the concept is of course Rachel's and um, maybe many of other youtubers uh, have done that I'm not sure I have not checked on that but the only one that I've seen is of Rachel's so um, let me show you the journals that I've made so this is a um, bag journal that I've made with the Italian straw bag I think they are called Catapalia and um, this is the pouch uh, bag that you uh, journal that you get so you have a journal at the back and you have some journaling options, some small notebooks and stuff like that. And uh, this is also same. Like uh, these two are very, very similar. And um, so I won't go through them uh, all one by one, but I'm just going to give you a brief glimpse. And this I have done using a uh, kit from Calico Collage. Uh, this kit was called, I think, Daydreaming, um, and I like this kit a lot. So mainly uh, all the stuff that I've used, all the ephemera and stuff, that is from her kit. So I'll go through this first, and then I'm going to go through the others. So I'm just going to move these aside a little bit. So, so this is the journal basically, and uh, on. On the cover, what I've done is, uh, this is an image from her kit, and I've just layered them with a bunch of stuff, with vellum, with, um, you know, doily, then this is a fabric, this is a sari silk ribbon tie, and uh, at the bottom you have, uh, sorry guys, my neighbor must have some phone call coming, uh, I live in a big apartment complex, so, you know. Um, so this is a charm that I have and um, this is a pocket, fabric pocket and I have two journaling cards inside. Uh, so once I take this off, uh, you will be able to see it clearly. So let me take the ribbon off. So here is the sari silk uh, ribbon taken off and this is just, you know, uh, tied at the spine so you can easily take it off so this is a journaling card and this is another one so this is a lace vintage lace pocket and inside um, you have another pocket now this kit was pretty um, decent in size so I managed to use up everything basically um, you know and this is journaling cards inside the pocket also came in the kit so this is the front page I'm going to go through this very quickly uh, this is a collage tuck spot that I've done and this is an envelope that I've made from the papers extra papers that I had from the kit this is also from the kit this is a tuck spot these papers are hand painted by me and here is a belly band So you have plenty of space for writing, journaling and so this is another, you, I do have a lot of stitching also 
Uh, so here is a belly band and a tag goes in there. Here is a collage on the page. So this is another one. This is a standard size traveler's notebook and this is a tuck spot. The kit was very beautiful and um, I had it in my stash for a while and I just wanted to use it. So this is a tuck spot and this is the middle of the signature or the notebook. This is a tuck spot and this can be you know moved and here is another tuck spot. Let me show you. So here is another tuck spot. This is floating kind of thing. Here is another pocket with the journaling. All the journaling cards are sewn in. So uh, with the pink silk thread. So this is another one. This is a belly band uh, with a doily over here, and your tag goes in. Here is the doily, the other part of the doily, so you can make it into a tuck spot also if you glue this part up. This is just a fabric tab, lace, a silk uh, fabric. So this is a fabric flip that you have. And this is another pocket. Here you have this, uh, this is actually a fold out journaling space. So if you want you can clip something over here and put something down here. This is a pocket. This is another pocket. So uh, let me show you. This is so this is a pocket. You can put something here. This is also a pocket. From these all images are from the kit. So I have not used anything other than the pages from the kit. So this is a, a journaling card sort of thing. I have put in an eyelet. I will put in some charm or some lace through that. So this is the back page and here is another pocket. And at the back you have another pocket. So here is the tie just to show that you have another pocket here. And here is the journaling card tag, sort of. So this is uh, made from Calico Collage, digital kit from Calico Collage. And um, uh, the Katapalya journals that I have done is, I think I'll show this in one go because if I make this video too long, uh, it will take a long time to upload. So let me show you this first and then maybe I'll do the... Uh, bag journals so this is actually a bag um, like so and I folded this and made it into a journal so let me put this aside um, so this is this is uh, actually sewn into the spine so you can't take it off but if you want you can snip it off very carefully so at the front, this is used, uh, this is made using mostly stamperia papers. Here you have a charm, which you can of course take out if you like to. And I've layered a bunch of stuff on the cover with some tool and vintage lace, music papers. So these are some scraps from the stamperia and prima papers, which I thought would go with it. This is from Stamperia and you have a tiny, you know, bejeweled kind of look because I like it. And here you have a pocket and a closure. Uh, I have not uh, added too many stuff but little tiny booklets you can say. So this is actually a booklet and this has a layered ephemera sort of thing. So this goes into the front pocket and you can close this up. These are all from Stamperia papers. Um, I had a bunch of these in uh, rose themed. So here you have a journal journaling tag in a fabric pocket and this is a silk piece. This is also a Stamperia journaling card and 
this I made from a scrap of paper I had. Uh, this is a small notepad sort of thing which goes in. So this is a flip. These are all from stamp area. This is also from stamp area. So these are some pockets. You get a variety of pages and uh, mostly if you want to travel somewhere it's a very good option because <coughs> you can take them along. Uh, this is a pocket over here and here I also have a pocket but not all the pockets have you know something or the other in them uh, so you can put your own photographs or ephemera so this is a journaling tag uh, this is another tuck spot like so uh, this is a scrap paper this these are also from stamp area so this is kind of a tuck spot this is also a tuck spot. So these are some scrap papers that I've added as notepad. Uh, this is from, uh, this was actually a journaling card from Stamperia. And this is the middle. I've not done anything much. So this is the other side. This is a book page and I've added some scrap papers. This is another. So you have a lot of um, silk elements. So this is a tuck spot pocket sort of thing. And this is actually a double tuck. So you can put something over here as well as something at the back. So there, if you want to travel somewhere with a journal like this and document your you know, journeys and stuff like that. So, you, so this is also another booklet that I made using some ephemera. And I've just layered them up. And here I have another of those notepads and some collages over here, some fabric. Um, and here is another notepad. So you get tiny scraps and bits of papers that you can use in your journaling. And at the back I have a floating envelope. So you have some journaling elements ephemera inside and you can close this up. Uh, you can close this up by using this. Sorry. So this is actually, uh, once again I've layered this with a bunch of ephemera and stuff which I thought would go with this. And this is the back. So you have another tag over here. So these will be listed in my Etsy shop in January. If you're interested, then please uh, check that out. Okay, so bye everybody. See you.